Hi, I'm Antonio. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style and I want to thank Valuetainment for allowing me to come on their channel and to teach you guys about the importance of presentation of image. What I do in my background, I was in the United States Marine Corps where I learned the importance and power of a uniform and what we wear, the signals it sends when it, you create trust, whenever you want to send a message of authority, competence, that you know what you're talking about. Because see, so many people out there shooting themselves in the foot when it comes to presentation. Now, if you haven't already, go back and watch the earlier videos in which I talk about some foundational points. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about fit. Now, fit fabric and function. That's part of my style pyramid and I think every man and woman needs to master it when it comes to their image. But specifically, fit is king. And the bad thing about fit is if you don't nail it, you can have a $2,000 power suit that just looks horrible on you. So I'm wearing quite a bit of clothing right now. It's cold. I'm here visiting my wife's family in Kiev, Ukraine. And I'm going to talk about each of the items. I'm going to literally take most of these off. Don't worry, it's not going to get, you know, we're not going to get uh, x-rayed here, but we're going to have a little bit of fun. And uh, I want to talk about each of the items that I'm wearing and how you want to pay attention to the fit and the proportion. So those are two separate things and let me quickly talk about proportion. Proportion is something that we look at and we expect a certain size in relation to other sizes. So an example would be why does a giant, like a really big tall guy, why does he look big and tall. Not just, I mean, because when we look at him, we can kind of tell. The reason being, his head in proportion to his body is actually smaller. That's why children are so cute. They've got large heads in proportion to their overall small bodies. So this actually applies to us in clothing because if you're a bigger guy, if you're a smaller guy, if you are a larger woman or a regular size woman, you want to be looking for accessories, clothing that is proportioned correctly. Now, this is a rabbit hole I could go really deep down and I advise you to go check out what I've got over at Real Men Real Style for more information about proportion. But the key is with all of your accessories, whether they be a watch, whether they be a hat, whether it be a scarf, you want to make sure the proportions are correct. Because if you're a smaller guy, if you're a larger guy, if you are one of the extreme examples, you're going to want to pay attention to those things. Because a smaller woman who has large accessories, it's just going to look a bit off. So that's what you want to pay attention to accessories. Of course, we can get into fabric and color, but that's for another video. So, with the outerwear, this is one of those things when it comes to the fit. Now we're going to focus in on fit. So, you want to try to get the fit right because to adjust outerwear is going to be a lot more expensive. The reason being, outerwear uses heavier weight fabrics. So, with leather jackets, yes, you can adjust the leather jacket, but you've got to have a special sewing machine with a type of special type of thread and needles that can actually go through and do this. And it's specialty work. Just not any tailor or seamstress is going to want to touch that because they realize, hey, I could damage this and I'll be liable. So, when it comes to your outerwear, it is something. It's going to be harder, I think, to find something that fits you right. So, when you do find it, don't be afraid to spend a little bit more to really nail it on the fit. The piece I'm wearing right here is custom. This is made to actually fit over all of my suits. So, I can also wear it with sweaters. But overall, it's it's made not to crush anything I'm wearing. So, the shoulders are going to be a little bit farther out. When you look at this jacket in general, it definitely is an overcoat. For me, I went with something that's going to be a little bit longer. You want to make sure, again, getting back to proportion, that it doesn't go to far, fall too long. A lot of jackets are going to go just below the, and cover the buttocks area. Uh, other ones are going to be right at the waist. Those are jackets if they go to the waist. Coats usually will sometimes go a little bit lower depending on where you're at in the world. You're going to want to make sure possibly to have something to cover your backside and beyond. I like something in a cold area. I live in Wisconsin. I travel to Kiev, Ukraine. I like something that goes just below the knee. It provides a little bit more warmth. Again, the key point with fit on a coat is that you nail it when you buy it. Now, let's talk about jackets and I am going to get to women's wear in case you're wondering. I'm going to talk about a few key points but both men and women, jackets are one of the most expensive pieces that are going to be in your wardrobe. So, you want to pay attention to the fit when you buy it, especially off the rack. Custom is a great option, especially for people that are hard to fit. So, if you're especially large, uh, a little bit smaller and there are many online options, uh, I'll make sure the guys over at Valuetainment put a few links down in the description to guides that can help you find online custom clothiers or even local custom clothes. You'd be surprised what your local seamstress or tailor can do. But you've probably heard me talk about this in multiple times already in this video. You need to take pretty much everything to your tailor or to 
your seamstress to get adjusted. Anything that you buy off the rack can fit you better. So specifically with jackets, for both men and women, you're going to want to pay attention to the fit in the shoulder. Shoulder and adjusting shoulders on a jacket is considered like heart surgery when it comes to adjusting clothing because there's a lot of function and buildup that goes into this. And so from the padding to the overall structure, this is something that they could really screw up. So you got to be careful. You want it to, it's best if you, if you're going to buy something off the rack that it fits you properly in and around this area. When it comes down to the bunching in the back of the neck, that can easily be adjusted. When it comes down to maybe uh, in and around the chest area, if it's a little bit too tight, if it's a little bit too loose, you can get that brought in. But the key is when you're buying off the rack, try to get the best fit you can. Now, one of the easiest things to adjust is going to be the overall sleeve length. So when we look at jackets here, I'm going through, looking at this right here. Now, this one actually has working cuffs. This is a sign either of a high-end jacket or something that's custom. Um, but you're going to find most jackets out there don't have this. And what that means is that they should have excess material in here that they can need to be lengthened by about an inch and a half or they can be shortened by an inch and a half. Why not more, you may be asking? proportion. Remember I talked about that earlier, but whenever you start to alter a jacket too much, the proportions get to get thrown off. The placement of the pockets, the overall look and feel of the overall silhouette starts to be distorted. When that happens, you neither buy a jacket that's going to be more closely fit or again, look custom. And that's why when a guy loses, let's say 20 or 30 pounds, or a woman perhaps gains a little bit of weight, that they actually can't just get their clothing adjusted to actually things with that, not just proportion, but if you're gaining weight, and let's say you're maybe you're bulking up, you're a guy, you're putting on a lot of weight up here in the, in the chest area. The issue is, is what exactly fabric is on the inside so that they can let it out. If there's no fabric to be let out, then it's going to be very difficult to adjust. Now, another thing is the length of the jacket. You're going to want your jackets for men specifically just to cover the lower part of the buttocks. Now with women, they can oftentimes wear it a little bit shorter. Uh, sometimes, you know, and women are going to be more prone to fashion. I like men's style. One of the reasons I stick with it is it doesn't change too much. So classic style has the jacket just covering the buttocks for men. For women, it can be much higher. Although we've seen a lot of menswear that it's starting to move up. Again, I've got an entire infographic on how a jacket should fit. Uh, and I definitely advise you to go check that out. Doesn't always, doesn't apply necessarily to women in all the points, but many of them do. Now, I said jacket. Now understand what the difference between a jacket and a suit. A jacket can stand by itself. A suit is a jacket and a pair of trousers made from the same fabric. And I do think that's one of the better buys that you can get because they come together and depending on where you purchase this, you can get a great deal. Almost get, the, it seems like the trousers for free. Sometimes a sports jacket uh, is going to cost just as much as an actual suit, except the suit comes with the, uh, the trousers. So let's go ahead and let's start talking about, uh, ah, not going to pull my pants up here, but I will bring up some pictures right here. So the first thing you want to make sure when you're getting the fit of the trousers is going to be in the hips and in the midsection area. This is going to be one of the hardest areas to fit, especially with women. Or if you're a man and you've got a larger backside, this is something we come in a wide range of shapes and sizes. And if you're having trouble, what you want to look for is the brand that works for you. Um, after you can get it and you can nail the fit in the crotch area, in the buttocks area, then the length of the trousers becomes a lot easier because you can shorten trousers up to about two and a half to sometimes three inches. Again, you're going to want to be careful with proportions, but trousers, it's actually pretty easy to open them up on the sides and they can bring them in. So if it's because what you want to avoid, let's say you're five foot two and you buy a pair, buy a pair of trousers, they're actually made for someone who's about five foot nine. The issue is that yes, you could shorten them a bit, but overall the width of those trousers is going to be too much. So in that part, you're going to open up the side and you're going to bring them in. Again, a, t a knowledgeable tailor or seamstress can help you out with this and can, you know, but it's good for you to know this information to have an image of what this should look like in your mind before you go and look, because they're going to ask you to try it on, give you feedback, and you're going to want to be able to tell them, no, I'd like a little bit of an adjustment here. But by working with a professional, they can actually learn your style and you can actually get this really close. Now, lengthening trousers, you got to make sure there's fabric up in there. So if you're buying a suit off the rack, make sure to look inside. If you know you're going to have to get it lengthened, and let's say you've got longer limbs, then in that case, you can sometimes lengthen about an inch and a half. Oftentimes, you're not going to find there's not much more fabric than that.
Next up, let's talk about shirts. Okay, so with a shirt, shirts are actually pretty easy to adjust. However, if you are gaining weight or the shirt is a little bit too tight, what you'll find unlike jackets or coats or even trousers is that there's not really excess fabric in the shirts. So shirts can be brought down, but they can't really be brought out. Now, knowing that, so you want to go buy the best shirt that fits off you. Again, you want to look for a brand that's going to work for you. Women in particular, you've got to make sure that it's going to fit you in the bust area, one of the hardest areas to fit. And if you find that you're still getting, you know, buttons basically opening up and you're, you're giving a show that you don't want to give, what you want to look for is either having the buttons, extra buttons sewn in there. Maybe look for a style that actually suits the way your body is built with the buttons or maybe have something custom made or there are actually, uh, I know, double-sided tape that you can use in there to keep that closed. Now, with men, one of the hard areas is going to be the armholes. Uh, most clothing is made to fit a hundred different body types. That being so, they make the armhole incredibly large. The problem with this is whenever you raise up your arms, it pulls the jacket out. This one is an off the rack shirt. I actually haven't had it adjusted. It fits me reasonably well. I found companies that work for me. So that's the key is to zero in on brands that work for you. If not, look to go custom or find a brand that's close and take it to get adjusted. So. We've talked about the shoulders. You want to make sure the shoulder points go to about here. The neck, you want to be able to button it right up here and be able to fit two fingers in. This one's a little bit close. I can probably, yeah, I can fit two fingers in there, but I could probably loosen up this neck. This is my style and this is how I like to wear it. And oftentimes I'm not even wearing a tie with this type of shirt right here. Collar, size, cuff size. You're thinking about proportion. So you're a larger woman. You're going to want to make sure that you're not going for something that has really small uh, collars, really small cuffs, because it's just not going to work for your proportions. The length of the shirt. I like something that at least goes two inches below the uh, belt line. The reason being is it will stay tucked in. If you're going to be wearing this shirt untucked, then it should have a style. And that's basically a straight style that is designed to be worn untucked. Now the whole torso, the chest and the, uh, the waist, especially for men, can be adjusted and brought in quite a bit. What they'll do is the back of the shirt, they can cut darts and that's where they cut two lines and then they bring the fabric in and this will enable it to fit better. When it fits great in the torso, it's less likely to become untucked. In addition, it just looks nicer and streamer, especially if you take care of your body. Let's talk about the sleeve length. The overall sleeve length of the shirt is very easy to adjust. The key is they're going to have to take the cuff off and then they'll bring this up or they, they're not going to be able to let it out. So you want to pay attention to that. Like if it's too short and I like to think that I'm driving and put my hands out like this, if it's too short, they're just not going to be able to fix it unless they put on maybe a French cuff or something like that. That is a larger cuff. But in general, most of us are going to have to have this shortened just a bit. I think it's worth doing. It looks great. It's going to be a little bit more expensive simply because it takes a little bit of time, but it's uh, better than, you know, for many of you guys, it's going to be more affordable than getting something custom, which is still a great option. So if I had to summarize this video, understand that fit is king. It's well worth taking anything, whether it be a $20 shirt to get it adjusted so it looks like a $200 shirt when it fits on your body correctly. Now, if you want more, again, I'm going to link over to infographics, pictures, charts, where you can actually look at clothing that fits properly and make sure to go check out more of our series here at Valuetainment. I want to thank, you know, Patrick. I want to thank Mario and the team there for allowing me to be here on the channel. And look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care.